Hello guys, today I'm going to show you an animation for you to understand better the process of interface and mitosis, okay? I know this process, uh, there is a lot of names and process that you need to memorize, but I'd like you to understand first what's going on. So this is going to show you what's happening, okay? So this is just a demonstration and you can do it at home if you want. And here I'm represent a cell, okay, with the nuclear membrane and the cell membrane. This here is my DNA inside the cell. And uh, these blocks, I'm representing the organelles. And these little cubes here, I put to represent some other substance, for, uh, for example, the enzymes that there is inside the cell. Uh, first, we need to remember that the process of uh, cell uh, division uh, we have the interface, that is the preparation of the cell for the division, okay? First, before I start the mitosis, I need to start my interface. My interface is the phase of preparation. It's actually a very long phase, okay? It takes more time than the mitosis itself. Who, what are the three phases of interface? G1, S, and G2. So first, the G1. What happens in G1? The duplication of organelles. So all organelles get multiplied. And also the cytosol. So here I'm going to erase, but the cell membrane doesn't disappear. I'm just erasing to draw it bigger, okay? Because in G1, the cell becomes bigger because all the cells component duplicate so the cell membrane becomes bigger okay so all the cell membrane becomes bigger and I multiply all the organelles and all the cubes okay okay so now I multiply the organelles and the cytosol. So my cell is bigger now. What happens next? What's the next phase? S. So S, what? S stands for what? Synthesis. Synthesis of what? DNA. What's synthesis? Replication, duplication. So synthesis in biology is replication or duplication. So I'm going to do the multiplic multiplication of my DNA. Here, I represent the DNA with the red, the DNA I received from mom, and the blue, the DNA I received from daddy, okay? Just to illustrate, but you don't have color, of course. Um, so here I have two pairs, two homologous chromosomes, one each with the mom, and the daddy, the mom and dad. So here we represent two pairs of chromosome. But in human species, how many pairs do we have? 23. Okay, so this happens in the human cells 23 times because I have 23 pairs of chromosome. So far now in S, I'm going to duplicate. Okay, they are not close like that. So I'm just representing. So here I'm multiplying this one. So I have a copy now. I multiply the other one and I multiply this one and I multiply this one as well. Okay? I have now two pairs but duplicated and I have one copy for each chromosome and each of these I call chromatid. Okay, sister, I call this sister chromatid because they have exactly the same genetic information. They have the same genes. Okay, that's it for synthesis. So now I multiply my DNA and my DNA is all like not condensate yet. So they are like, I cannot uh, put them, but they are not condensate. They're not organizing chromosomes yet. So after S, what's come next? G2. What happens in G2? Basically, all the substance that the cell needs for the multiplication is multiplied. 
So here I'm just representing some enzymes, for example. So I'm multiplying the enzymes and the enzymes as well. I'm just multiplying all the substances that I need. And that's it for interface. So interface, I have G1 that I just multiplied the organelles, S that I multiply my enzymes, and G2 that I multiply the other substances such as the enzymes. And that's it for interface. Now the cell is prepared for the division. Today I'm going to talk just about mitosis. So now I'm going to talk about mitosis. What's the first phase for mitosis? Prophase. Prophase. What happens in prophase? All the DNA that was disorganized before, now they become in pairs. So for example, this pair here, and they organize they condensate with the help of the histones. Okay, I'm not represent here, but the proteins called histones, they help to create the chromosome. So each chromosome here now have his its sister chromatid. Each copy of the chromosome is one sister chromatid. Now it's organized in chromosome. So in prophase, now I can see the chromosome. Okay. I'm going to put all them together to organize the chromosome. Also, one thing that happens, really important in prophase, is that my nuclear membrane disappears. So now my nuclear membrane disappears. And my chromosomes are here organized and my DNA is condensated. After the prophase, what's the next phase? Metaphase. So M for middle. What goes to the middle? The chromosome. So each chromosome goes to the middle of the cell. Like that. They don't, they don't have much space, but all the chromosomes goes to the middle of the cell. And that's it for metaphase. Metaphase, basically, the chromosome goes to the middle of the cell. Okay? After metaphase, anaphase. Ana in biology means separation. What's going to separate now? The sister chromatids. So each of these chromatid goes to one side of the cell. They separate it and goes to one side of the cell. Okay, that is for anaphase. After anaphase, I have telophase. Telophase is the opposite of prophase. If in prophase my nuclear membrane disappear, now it appears again. So I'm going to draw here my nuclear membrane. So my nuclear membrane appears again. And my DNA is decondensate again. Okay. And all the organelles is split in two. So each of these copy goes to one side of the cell. And also the substance, such as the enzymes, goes and split in the two. Now the cell is pre-prepared for actually the vision, because here I still have the two cells, the two uh, nuclear membrane, the two substances, but all together. Now, I'm prepared for the cytokinesis. So what's cytokinesis? Now, the cell is going to actually divide. So I'm going to erase this. And then I'm going to erase this. Okay? So now I create two new cells, two new daughter cells, exactly the same as before. So remember, before we have these three organelles, let's say, and these two each, and we have 
one for each remember it was like that so two new cells exactly the same so this one this one together with this one as you can see it's like a mirror of each other and that's it i hope it helps you to understand better and you can reproduce this at home with simple materials that okay thank you so much guys